Hey guys, what's up? So, in this video, I'm going to be building my first PC and gaming rig, and I'm at it right now, so this is in the future, but I don't want to spoil anything, but really, but just as I did in the last video, I'm going to explain to you what was going on before we get to the point, because um, I don't have all the footage, but basically, it's I started out and I found a bunch of parts on eBay that I wanted to get to make my um, PC, my first PC, but then what happened was, uh, as it turned out, my motherboard, I was using an HP Pavilion, a really old HP Pavilion for my base, um, and starting that as, like, pre-built, and I needed a hard drive, SSD, and then a graphics card. Now, my hard drive and SSD, now my hard drive didn't use SATA, and my SSD was in the NVMe format, and my motherboard only had mSATA for the M.2 SSD, so I couldn't put it in, so let's start where that end up, and we'll show you what happens, and you may know if you watch the Micro Center vlog what I do use to do that. Great video, make sure to go check that out, but basically, let's start. Okay, guys, so as it turned out, the hard drive also would not fit in it so i'm very upset but i'm gonna try to with the help of my cousin on ebay sell my hard drive and this ssd for more than i bought it for to try and make a little bit of profit so then i can buy uh, one that actually works but be careful on ebay um you don't get what you <laughs> think it is sometimes <laughs> a lot of the times actually so, ASMR. <laughs> that was kind of bad but how about before we leave? Cause I'm here's what I'm. Can we say. still fire up Muck? No, we can't. Dang it! But we are going to finish this video later. So um, but at, before we leave and then wait a few months with editing magic and go to a few months in the future when we have our SSD and hard drive that actually works. Not months, like weeks. Right? Weeks, a few weeks. Um, let's at least put our hard um I hard mean, drive. <laughs> um, I mean, let's put our gaming graphics card in. Okay, so. Graphics card installation process is actually pretty weird on this setup. So, this is so ASMR, 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 ASMR. Stop doing the sus in the space. Among us, among us, ASMR, 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 ASMR. Okay, so I got that one back in, and that really is for expansion, but I'm probably not going to do any expansion on this. Now, let's try to fit this monster. One gauge one of a monster graphics card in here so yep. definitely we gotta do some cable management around here to even be able to fit in so that's what i'm gonna do right now all of our cables like as far away as we can from here and get enough space if, if, if we can to get the gorgantuan of a graphics card inside of the thing we got to try to get that in Let's go, Nick. Speed run. Speed run putting in a giant graphics card into an old <laughs> gaming PC. Okay. Gaming PC. Oh, it's gonna go in. There. I think it clicked. Wait, wait. It's not. No, it's, it's not clicked yet. Wait. There's, there's a stuff under here. We got get all the cable management away from it. Oh, this is so huge. So huge for old gaming. Did it click in? I think it's in. Okay. Wait. Is is our graphics card fine? Is it? In Dude, that barely, barely fits in the case. It looks sick though in the case. Wait, we got it. It barely fits in. Okay, so take that out. It's okay. So now I understand the the deinstallation process. I, I, I just want to take it out and make sure that if you put it in, it will be fine. Yeah, basically fine. Wait, did it crack here? No. Right there. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Let's put it in. So, this is... If you're a true gamer, you'll put your graphics card in a case like this. But, it's so sus to put it in here. Mad sus. Okay, so we there removed it and we undid it. Okay, now, cable management. Now we put all the cables in. Okay, so we have these two right here. And they easily plug into our graphics card so and then we'll fire it up to see how it does but do these light up no oh that'd be so it's before the era of the rgb addiction okay so 
I'm just trying to get this thing plugged in. Okay, so we have both of our power cables for our graphics card plugged in. Now let's get our motherboard. I mean, it doesn't look too bad right now. Like, you know? You're getting the, the 24 pin connector and 4 pin connector plugged in. And that is basically everything else besides. Yeah. So, definitely it's going to be hard to do cable management for, like, other stuff. But... Now I have to just get these plugged in, which are going to be hard. They're for the USBs in the front. Gamer. <laughs> okay, I think I got these pins in. Okay. So, that's our USBs in the front, and then our audio for audio. But we got our graphics card in. So now we just have to see, will it fire up and will it explode? <laughs> Imagine if it just like died. Okay, so we get, we're gonna get connected. Let's hope it fires up. We've had enough bad luck in this PC build. Um, we at least want to see our graphics card fan blowing and being able to fire up and then definitely check the system, see will, will it show up that our graphics card does exist. Yep. Actually, wait, no, the biggest way to test it is let's let's use the um, video ports from the graphics card. So so then we'll test, is, is it actually flowing through the graphics card? So for graphics card, we have HDMI, um, some DVI, two DVIs and one HDMI, which will be enough for my setup. Um, I'm going to connect HDMI to my TV, but it's nothing special. It's enough. Mainly, we want it for its performance. Okay, so now that we have that out, if we plug this in here, we got a, a pretty thick line of cables on the back. But will it all work? Theoretically, all goes according to plan, which it hasn't been going during this PC build. But I hope it finishes on a good note before we go and turn trouble. Okay, so. Oh, so look. The mods are gaming fan. Oh! What, what did you do? I'm trying to stop cables from touching it. I hope I didn't break it. Wait, did you? Okay, wait. Anything going on? Uh, well. Yeah, it's powering up. But Let's go. Okay. Okay, CPU testing. Okay, we want to skip this. We so that's our RAM. You can see. Warning. Yeah. We don't have one. It's happening. So the video is going through our graphics card. So. The power. The graphics card is definitely working. Yeah, it's working. We we don't have Windows 10 booted up. We should put that graphics card in my brother's PC. <laughs> so, we put our graphics card in. Um, we added our RAM, then we added thermal paste to our CPU. We don't have an SSD or a hard drive, so we can't actually boot up Windows 10. But I'll see you in a few months when I have or few weeks or maybe a few days I don't know when I have my SSD and hard drive so okay so after a while we were having to sell our old parts that I bought on eBay got scammed but then we had a trusty stop to micro center yes always sir having, yes sir always having parking stop. Okay guys, so the footage stopped okay, motion, so I'm gonna be doing a Color? voiceover. So we got a red SATA cable, and then we have our inland SSD that we got from Micro Center. Um, sorry about this, that this did did happen. There is gonna be a bit of voice in my background every once in a while. We have our 3.5 inch Seagate Barracuda in the background, um, but um, so. It's basically, so then I'm taking out the hard drive bay to put in the hard drive, and I'm just trying to figure out um, where I'm going to put the 
the SSD. So now I unbox it and I have it right now. Excellent. So the words to describe this are beautiful, amazing, great. Yeah, that's how you describe it. Um, it didn't fit on top, so now I really have to see where I can put it. And it's yeah, very simple. Um, again, sorry that the footage did get corrupted. But, yeah, so unboxing the red SATA cable. I need the extra one because there was only one for the pre existing hard drive in my pre build, so I need uh, another one. And now, um, for some reason, the hard drive was not being able to plug in, so I take it out and I talk about, I look at it, and then I realize it's broken. The pins on it broke and they fell apart, so I, I just leave. Mental and we definitely and need back. to. to I'm de I definitely need to do more upgrades in the future. Yep, but it's good for so right now. You know, you okay. know what I'm saying. Hopefully, it's enough to game on luck. Okay. Basically, what's going the graphics on right card now will tell. Is we got 6950. So basically, what's going on is I came back. I came back a bit later after that. Uh, and I realized Our graphics we card. SSD. So I thought, hey, we could still boot up, still use the SSD. Um, yeah. So. Okay, so now let's just skip ahead to when um, the system is finally built. Because it takes a while for me to get the SSD. Can you, can you totally put it get above the top you? into the system? So let's go. Okay, ahead. so we have. Sorry about the noise in the background, guys. Yes. But we have the boot media in. So Windows 10. Gonna press that to power our PC on. And then we want to see will the boot media show up. So what the process of doing this is, we're gonna to want to open the Windows 10. Oh my gosh, so creamy. So creamy. It's working. Okay, can you hear me? I got to work. It didn't add in the Windows product key. I decided not to. Sorry if you can't see the screen. It's pretty bright, but. I'm doing it later, so then later if I want to activate Windows when I add my hard drive and do future upgrades, I can enter the product key, but for now, I think it's fine for now, and just, I just want to do basic stuff, so, yeah. And it's trying to download Windows right now, and I'll show you when everything is done, but I decided to go, not go with the product key because again, the hard drive did break. And I do want to add it back in and hard drive mainly for like bigger file storage, but my SSD is probably going to run like Windows and all the like important stuff that need to be run at a higher, faster speed so you can then get better response time. All the basic stuff is just going to be. We have the PC booted up, Windows all booted up, had to do some trash cable management, but I, I think we're ready to game. So I set up my main TV to be my main gaming screen because it's a little bit bigger and I feel like it's better for like a better gaming experience. And then I have this side screen. Um, I can flip it to the side, but I'm not really into monitors not that style. So I just have it right here, right now in this position. Not really sure what I'm gonna do next, but yeah. So now time to get Steam downloaded and boot up some muck. Guys, real quick before we end this video, I want to not only play Muck, but before we do play some Muck, I thought, why won't I just first show you some of the performance results? So I have them in front of me, and this is User Benchmark. It's a benchmark system that can benchmark your CPU, GPU, basically any computer part inside it, and it's very trustworthy. I use it myself personally, and it's very easy, of course, like if you really want to do a more specific test, I would recommend using other software, but if you just want to do a wide range, like widely benchmark your system, this is the best one if you want to start getting into benchmarking, best one, super easy to download. But basically, as you can see, performance isn't that good. For gaming, we get 11% performance, so it's not doing that good. Desktop, it's like 51%, so like average, like basic desktop workstation, not too good. Workstation is talking about like 3D rendering, all that stuff, like video editing. Okay, so graphics. So I didn't have that good of a graphics score. For I got 18.7% in the 3D score. RTX 2060 Super gets 100%, that's for reference. Um, so... 
I have a reasonable SSD store score, so fast boost boot, boot responses, so that's pretty good. So what is so everything else is bad. So my processor and graphics, those are really struggling right now, but mainly that the main problem with that is that my processor is really holding my graphics card back and your graphics card can only be as good as your graph as your processor will allow. So that's going to be my next upgrade. But my boot drive's good. 8 gigabyte is enough and running Windows 10. But overall um not doing that good. So system HP Pavilion. So there it is. So here's all the specs for it. You got AMD Alton X4. So my bench was not not the best bench. It wasn't even in the middle, so it wasn't that good. And then for my AMD HD 6950, I was just right in the middle of where it performs. So yeah, for my SSD, two four gigabytes, I was not in the middle high range for how it was performing, and that was mainly just because. Oh, there's my USB drive. Um, and my data traveler they decided to test those also but I do I used a um, one of the micro center brand um, SSDs so it wasn't doing that good but that mainly is because um, I'm kind of running out of storage I don't have my hard drive right now but mainly it's just a simple upgrade and add-in and mainly I'm gonna use that to store videos edit stuff like that yeah but um, then we have our so it's not actually that. I actually have yeah four two gigabyte modules, so pr in the high range of our bench, but it's not that good because we are running DDR3. So hopefully we can get better upgrade next time. What I am going to transfer over is hard drive, SSD, and graphics card. So new motherboard case, a lot of ho helpful things because I'm sorry, but this is not too good. So now let's see how does it actually perform in game because obviously like it. Like, of course, like, these 3D renderings, like, we had to run it at, like, very, very low settings, but we were getting d decent FPS, but, again, we did do really bad, um, but how can a game on Muck, and Muck is not that, like, good of a game, like, it's not, like, a triple-A game, but it's a game, so let's go see how it can game on Muck. Okay, so, test, test, launch up Muck, so let's see the load time. I'm gonna start click on muck. Just loading. Wow, that was actually pretty responsive. Um the title screen. Um still not fully loaded, but it popped up pretty fast. We are running so our SSD I think is good. Wow, so it loaded, so I just wanna show you that we can so I'm on you max settings this, on so muck already click right on now. This. So, let's see. So, of course, my display is max of 60 hertz. So, even if I'm getting good at I'm doing this one-handed right now, but max settings. And I'd say that's pretty stable FPS. Now, I know, I may not be a gamer. Make sure to check out my Twitch if you want some games. But, that's a pretty stable FPS. Every is actually being... I have all the specific things on, got the highest detail, maximum on the textures. So I'd say we, we, we got a lot of detail, so I think it's pretty good. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I just want to say, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. This was one of my first PC builds. I'm hoping to do many more in the future and upgrade my personal rig, but I also want to start selling computers and maybe make some custom computers. But in order to do all this, um, and I also want to start getting some sponsorships, in order to do any of this, I need support from you. So make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, and just share this video online because as I'm starting to do more tech videos, I hope that we can grow our audience. So again, thank you so much for watching. That's just about it, um, and I just want to say I'm looking to upgrade it because it really does struggle, especially when I'm streaming. But, yeah, so, thank you for watching. That's just about it. Like and subscribe. I'm leaving now.